The amount of cars we sold this video has been quite good. Probably about 50k profit for the video. So make sure you watch till the end. Let's get to it. Yes, lads, welcome back to another trading video. So, I love the support in the last video. It's been great. Appreciate that massively. Everybody subscribed lately. Appreciate that as well. We're up to 1.5 mil. Um, I played a draft. Uh, so we sold Muller, as you've seen in the last video. We made our coins on him, which is not bad. And then we played drafts and we ended up getting... Um, all of these players and this card just from the draft. We got two. We won the draft and got like two mega pack and a five seven point five k pack something like that. So it turned out quite nice for us there. Pickford we got for four or five. We actually bought him the other day. Um, I just bought one of them just to see if he will go up, and it turns out he is. He's actually up to about five eight at the moment, and he's actually quite good to snipe. And we did just snipe one here for five three. So I'm gonna put him up for five eight. I got another one as well to put up for five eight, but um, yeah, Pickford's another one again that um, people are gonna need because of his rating. He's not the worst rating when like eighty five and eighty six SPCs coming out, and you need the chem. Pickford's kind of ideal because obviously the chem you need, and he's not that much of a low rating. I put that one up for five eight as well. What I'll do, boys, is I'll bring you back when we find um, find a few players. We'll try and get some trading. Okay boys, instead of just picking up pairs and trying to trade with them, I'll kind of just go through with you who is probably um, probably good to trade with at the moment. So as you can see, Sezogo here, he's probably about 7-4, seven, 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 I mean even 7-2, and we just picked one here up for 6-4 on a snipe. Now the thing is, people don't realise how much they're going for and they're still in packs. So people are still grinding the um, SPC, like, you know, the League SPC grinds, they're still grinding that, still packing like you know uh boards and walkouts and things and that's where it's that's where it's most valuable so as you can see here seven thousand three is what you'd get for him the other one sold as you can see it was up for like four minutes seven four it'd even go that's an 81 rated as well so be careful of them even though they will sell uh the 81s um you just got to be careful of them just to see if they will sell let me add this one to the watch list and just see if they sell but you want to go probably like six six here we go and we're straight in like that. Straight in with 6-5. We can put them up for 7-4. I think they're self that. Well, that's 1,000 plus tax. We're looking probably about 700 coins or something like that. Henry Chan, where is he? I'm not sure how much he is. Okay, maybe not. Maybe I'm miles off. What's he, 3-2? He's quite cheap. I don't know why I thought he was good. He could be good, actually. I don't know how much he is, that's the problem. What's he, 2.8? I'll take that one, 2.2. Um, we'll try and stand for 2.8. This is kind of what you guys need just to be doing. Just be looking at players, looking at their prices. 2.9, that popped up. I mean, you could sell these and probably put them up for 2.9. Uh, and it'd work, but then again, you've got to work out the tax. So, 2,945 tax, which will be 2,700. So, all right, as they both sold, we've got to get a charm sell for 2.7, which I kind of was reluctant of. I knew we were going to get. We missed out on them ones, we missed out on the Delaney. Now, they're just players you can kind of roughly look into, obviously, throughout the day. Um, I'd love to be here at like six o'clock and, and actually tell you which players. I like banging to do at that moment in time but I obviously I'm, I'm at work at that time so I can't really be doing that um, and a chance up to like 2.9 again so we did miss out on a few there I right, was in the moment in time I'm got, I'm kind of thinking on the lines of like oh, we missed out on this card here I didn't know what he was going for it was at 18k at the moment which is um quite shocking um, 15.5 there I haven't bidded on that one yet we did get a Sarabi though that's the wrong one. Uh, I need to come off that. Uh, claim your new items. Here we go. We picked them up for 17.5, which we're going to try and flip for 19.750. Gives us like 1,200 and something coins profit, which is nice. Uh, we'll take that. We should get him. Now he's in packs. This is why he's good to do. I picked him up yesterday to do the. To do two SPCs, um, and I actually got you can remove this. I actually got him twice, quite cheap. Okay, lads, we picked up another one. Our, our last one did sell. We've got him for 
What are we getting for? 18250. Now I've gone for 18250 because there's one up for 20k and it's just been put up and it looks like it's gonna sell. Um as you can see there, I'm gonna go and put this one up for like 2250. I'm gonna put the next one up for that one's for 20k, it should sell. So we should get about a thousand coins profit on him. Uh maybe just a little bit less. Um 22.50, that should be okay. All right, boys, we put up a nice little pool here. Uh, Ali Bayor for 35, 30,500, right? As you can see there, which we're going to try and flip him for 35,000, uh, which will give us about 3,250 tax, which is not bad, right? Um, let's have a look. Yeah. Mm, I mean, we'll probably put him up a bit cheaper because once that one sells, there's going to be none up, right? Um, and there was a few up for 35 and it, they did get sold so I'll go 34,750 which if we work it out now I mean I've just got the tax calculator up on footbin on my phone which is 3,013 coins profit which is nice oh no it's not actually uh, it's like 2,513 coins or something like that okay lads we've been a little bit busy right um, trying to get this trying to get the profit up which we have just made a very good pull on right so we've got two of these guys right um we picked him up for 33 which i think i can get about 38 37 for and then we got this one for 20k which is um ideal and they both have i think he was meant to put them up for a little bit more than that but i think he mucked up um 31 i'll take that one uh, let's have a look at his price Carduzo, I think that's how you say his name right. 39k, 35. I'll take 30k for him. I mean, we're probably looking at about 36k or something, right? Um, excellent sort out later. I kind of need them to sell. Two hours ago, it was 20k. So, yeah, I, I mean, I could get burnt here, like, massively if I don't sell these quickly. I'll take that one as well. Um, I'm going to probably try and get 30, 34 for him. Um, so 34, 5, I'm going to put him up for. This card here we got for 20k, I'm just going to go and put for like 33. I think that's good. And then we've got one for 31 here, I'm going to go and put for 34. We look at 34. Which gives us like uh, 800 coins profit. Try and put him up. I mean, we do need him sold. And then vice versa with this one. Not vice versa. I'm going to go with 33, 750. Um, I'm going to put him up for that. Now, it's not, I mean, it's not the most profit on them cards. As you can see here, 25. Holy crap. I, I mean, I could be doing this all wrong, right? But we don't want these cards going any lower because we're going to get screwed otherwise we'll try and sell them we'll, we'll try and sell them um, 25 31 this could be a ballsy move but obviously we do need them sold so there you go if people are looking for this card he should shoot up we need to sell these even the ones for like 33k 32k they need to sell um they need to sell um we've got one here for 32k and we've got a bender which we've got to put up as well um yeah i'm, I'm gonna go for that it's probably a small loss but we need them got an bender i wouldn't even show on his price either which is I just thought it looked like a good Okay, one has sold then for 35 something I believe. Because there was two up, right? Ah oh, that's why 35.5 is still there. 35k is his lowest. Uh, let's quickly look at Bender. Ah uh, 14k. I'll go 14,250. I mean, it's still profit, right? But it's not the best profit. Let's go 14,250. We're just going to probably just wait about to see if these sell now. Um, 
yeah, I'll bring you back if they sell. Okay, we picked up another. I don't think they're going to sell. We've got this one for 26. We're just going to flip him for like 29.750. I think that would be good. Um, 30k there again. I mean, it's... But the market is 33k. 32 cents. Okay, the market is obviously like picking up a little bit now. That's why. Did I say 28k? That needs to sell. The thing is, I put one up for 29. Someone's seen that, put them up for 28. It's just like a never ending thing. Okay, guys, we've got a very good snipe on the go. We're trying to get another. We've picked up Perishes for 26k. He's currently about 37, 750, 38k. We are selling a few more of these Carduzis, but not they're not looking good in all honesty if i can get this card as well that will boost us up and probably defect our loss a little bit um let's have a look there i mean so we're looking at mcguire one went for 21k we we missed out on him um if we go for uh, perisic going uh doesn't go in gonna go perisic he's a, you've got to do that to get out his ucls i think Takes out, it doesn't take out his UCLs. As you can see, he's more than like what I thought. Um, 38k is lowest and it didn't get bought. We did get one for 32. And then obviously the other one we got, which was a nice hit. We're probably going to try and sell him for 37. 37,000 is good. That gives us 35 after tax. And as you can see there, it's going to be about 9k profit on him. Um, which is happy days on that. I'll go 37 and then this one I'm gonna go 30 375 24.5 um you've got to pick that up because I know for a fact he sent for 30k so I'm gonna put him for 30k it might take him a couple of minutes to sell but you've got to, considering like if you look at his lowest I mean, that's his lowest, and once that sells, we should be golden on mine to sell. It's just getting to the stage now where it's a bit... I mean, it's already sold, I think. There you go, he's popped up again. This card's great, isn't it? I mean, if I realised, kind of, I should have looked at him a bit more, but you kind of don't do that. Obviously, when you're selling cards like this, you you know, if he's 32, 35, the lowest, you obviously you, you work with that, but... Yeah, it's just one of them, one of them days, I suppose, trading. Obviously, it's trading, you know, you lose in trading, sometimes you win, so it's... Okay, guys, we've got another card Uzi. We're going to go and pull him up for 29.5. Just because I think now his price is starting to come down a bit, as you can see here. I did sell the one I put up for 30k earlier, that is sold. Um, like... Yeah, it's just a bit of a it's just a bit of a nightmare now considering I have like four that I'm gonna lose coins on, but if I get 30k for them, I should be okay. Um If we send for 30k, just have a look. So we want to uh, We picked up an Aspas as well, 4275, which I thought is highest would be more than that, but it turns out it's not. I don't even I just seen him up, the only one up, so I bought him, but it turns out yeah, I lost on that. Um how much did I lose on that? Let's have a look. I can get down to the. Let's have a look. 1,375 coins I lost on that, which is a nightmare, but that was kind of my bad. Um, so, say so we get 30k. 36, 9, 12, 1, 5. We're probably looking at 40k, 45k profit in the hour that we've been trading, which is not bad. We did miss our Perisic. And he went for like 30,250, which I wanted to vomit at. Um, and we also missed uh, a Carduzo, Car, Carduzo as well at 22k. But that's going to be it for the video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. I hope this helped you in any way. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.